Now folks, there's one thing to say something about Newfoundland and say how much you, you appreciate her. But there's another thing too to really fight for her. And are you willing to fight for her like I am and others? Okay, we're rolling. Now my day begins, I day as I open up the gate to inspect the land and fields of my father. And when the day is through, I will sing out in the blue and wait until I see them in the morning. The song I just performed for you is a reminder of our past and the importance of rural Newfoundland and what is required of us to become masters of our own destiny. Without this and having a true positive cause for the fishery, I think it is necessary for all Newfoundlanders and Labradorians to become stewards of our natural resource. Keeping this in mind, our province has established a right to fish in our waters, just as our neighbours do in Nova Scotia. Further to this, it should be known that we as Newfoundlanders and Labradorians claim a public right to fish in tidal waters with a hook and line as a sustainable fishery method. As an activist and chairperson of the community's linkages, I hereby declare that we have an alternative but to stand united as a people with one voice, one goal, for the common good. An inquiry into our fishery should be considered, along with a need or solution to our fishery and our right to fish. We feel this can be accomplished by our own Fisheries Heritage Act. In conclusion, let me sum up by reciting for you the following as written by the late Mary Baker Eddy of which I hope each and every one of you listening to my plea will adhere to its message and fight what is rightfully yours, as to stake your ancestral claim. When the ocean is stirred by a storm, then the clouds roar, the winds shriek to the titan shrouds, and the waves lift themselves into mountains. We then ask the helmsman, do you know your course? Can you stay safely amid the storm? He answers bravely, but even the dauntless seaman is not sure of his safety. Nautical science is not equal to the science of mine, and yet acting up to his highest understanding, firm at the post of duty, the mariner works on and awaits the issue. Thus should we deport ourselves on the seething ocean of sorrow, hoping and working one should stick to the wreck until an overpower propulsion precipitates his doom, our sunshine gladdens the troubled sea.